<laughs> What's up plant peeps? This is Marcy. I was gone for a little bit because I have a baby now. A baby doggy. <laughs> so this is my child. Her name is Kiki. She just tries to get into every single plant that she can we actually had to buy a stand for her to stop getting into that dirt because she just loves to eat the dirt inside of my bird of paradise every day i pretty much have to vacuum the floor about five times a day at least because she loves getting into the dirt of that plant and just like eating the dirt it's it's very odd but yeah that's puppies if you hear any chaos in the background, that's my husband playing with Keiki. She has her little bouts of like energy and then just it's like every 12 hours she resets when she gets her little naps. And right now she doesn't have all of her shots so we cannot uh, take her out to walk yet. Which is a bummer because I would really love to just take her out so she can like you know get the exercise that she needs and she can like release her energy because i feel like she doesn't get to as much as she runs around around here yeah, basically all of my energy has been put into just taking care of that little one i just wanted to share a little backstory on her name as well because it does have to do with horticulture and that's because when i started collecting orchids i'd watch a lot of orchid videos orchid care orchid tips and then in those videos that i basically found out that when an orchid has a baby orchid it's called a keiki and it's so i was like that is so cute when i have a dog i'm gonna name her keiki i love plants this makes sense to me and she's a little baby i was like decided on a name even before i met her it was so cute because she was meeting me and my mom and my family my husband wasn't able to go with us to go pick her up unfortunately because he was at work so when we went to go get her it was the cutest thing it's like she walked in the room and she knew that like i was her mom basically well that's how i feel anyway she basically walked up to me and kind of ignored everybody else she did play with them but the first person she went to was me and that made me feel like okay that's cakey that's her little backstory anyway i'm sure you can see in back of me so i'm just gonna get right into the mills bow cabinets that i got so i was wanting to prepare for winter basically when i got these shelves actually not even just winter i wanted these shelves because i wanted to be able to take care of more like exotic plants that need more of that humidity plus the airflow i kept seeing these on people's you know videos stories instagrams everything i saw them everywhere so i was just like bro like i need those shelves it all started with the begonia pavonina and how i wasn't able to give it the proper environment that it needed to survive in my home and that made me super sad and i was just kind of like i want to have a greenhouse inside of my home but with the space that i have right now it just wasn't possible it wasn't like doable i've seen some options of like small greenhouses in the home but i was like it just wouldn't fit it just wouldn't go and then i saw these they're perfect they look sleek they do the job they look amazing i don't know what else you could ask for and everybody's getting them and i was just like i waited like so long for them to be restocked and then finally i actually got on the wait list to be notified and as soon as they got restocked i couldn't believe it i was like i need to get them now 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 because i was literally on the website ikea website like every single day and then i got a text message and i totally forgot that i had been on the wait list and it also came as a surprise because we were pretty spent when they got restocked so we just like got them because of winter and because i wanted to keep these more exotic plants that i basically wasn't getting because i knew i want to be able to provide the proper environment for them i kept buying these little terrariums i think i have like three most of my plants weren't even making it inside of them anyway so i was just like what's the point 
I mean, getting all these terrariums if they're not gonna do the job. You basically have 24 hours after you get the email that it's ready for pickup, and if not, they're going to return your money and resell your shelf. So it was kind of like out of nowhere, out of nowhere trip. And then in that trip, I went to this nursery as well because I was just like, well, we're over here already. We might as well check out the plant shops. And I found these super cute succulents, super cute succulents that I haven't seen in many or any other videos or anywhere and i'm so excited to show you guys because they're so weird like they don't even look real i can't believe i found them and they were like each three bucks they're like small right but they were so cute i was like where did these come from what are they they look weird i was in love yeah we had a good time we went to go pick up the shelves we went to go to that nursery and it was super fun and then we came back home and yeah here we are now so now i'm going to talk about the shelves and when i tell you they are a game changer they have changed the game okay let me show you so i don't have any lights in my millspo greenhouse cabinet yet there's my little jewel orchid i moved her from her cloche because as you can see right there she's getting a little bit of yellowing on the leaf right there and the leaves just look a little curly and i don't really know what that means i've never owned a jewel orchid before so i'm just like hoping that it'll do better in this greenhouse cabinet usually this cabinet is at like 70 some percent to like 80 some percent but right now since i haven't watered these plants and since I had the fan on, I turned it off for the sake of the audio of this video, but I had this fan on and I think it, the humidity, it made it lower. But anyway, this cabinet has been a game changer for this begonia. This is my begonia Morris Amy. And dude, this begonia was not doing anything for months. Yeah, this is my little Totoro and another one here. This one's got a little backpack. It's so cute. This greenhouse cabinet has done wonders for my begonias. At least these two angel wing begonias that I have in here. So this one I had for about two months or more. And all she ever did was drop leaves. She would drop one at least every week. As soon as I put her in this freaking Millsbo cabinet, she has popped off one two three four i think that's it i think just four leaves but oh my gosh she had not given me any new growth in all the time that i had her and as soon as i put her in here it was like superpowers superpowers for this begonia she loves it in here she's super happy she might even bloom i don't know I'm just hoping, but dude, like, it hasn't even been that long since I got these shelves, and look at this leaf, it's huge. It's grown so much, like, it's almost as big as this one, that's crazy. I'm just, like, amazed, because all she was doing was getting crispy tips on the leaves, and dropping leaves, and not popping out anything new, and I was just kind of like, she's gonna die. But, she's going to survive because of my Millspool cabinet and i'm super happy about it and so i just i hope that this jewel orchid does the same because i really like this thing and it's only got three leaves so if i lose one which i think i am um down here i have my maranta lucanura erythronura and she's just been popping off i mean she was already growing not in these greenhouse cabinets but I definitely feel like her growth has gotten quicker ever since I put her in here. She's really happy. Prayer plants usually like the higher humidity levels. Definitely think she is exponentially growing in here, although she was fine out there too. This is my Begonia Pink Minx, and she is so cute. But when I got her, I just had her like out and not in this greenhouse cabinet of course 
I just had her out there and she was also kind of doing the same thing as my Morris Amy down here. She was just getting crispy tips, if you can tell right there I cut one off. None of her growth was like doing anything. She had also come with a bunch of blooms and they all fell off. And now look, ever since she's been in here, she's blooming again. This little leaf finally showed growth. There's another new growth over there and more over here and yeah dude she's blooming like this is I really love this because as I mentioned in my other video um, my begonias haven't bloomed and this is the first time they bloom in my home and I'm so proud of her she's so cute so yeah she's super happy in here <laughs> my baby's barking um, <laughs> I don't have a lot in here because I don't want to like chiflar my other plants. I don't want to spoil them if they're doing okay out of this greenhouse cabinet. I do want to keep room for more exotic plants. I wasn't purchasing very exotic plants because I was scared I was just going to kill them and just waste my money. But well, now that I have these i've seen that they do miracles i'm ready to fill this up with all the exotic plants i can i do have another one in my bedroom but that one's not very exciting so this is my bedroom and in this bedroom i have a north facing window and up here i have my palea perpomoides and my uh raven and snake plant and yeah, I got two Millsville greenhouse cabinets because I know myself and I know that now that I have this available to me, I'm going to probably fill up the other one super fast. So I was just like, might as well get two. This is another flippy. They didn't have a black one, so I just got a white one. I think it looks cute too. I have some propagations that I showed in my plant house tour video and yeah they're doing very good i just put them in here because i had them like on my windowsill but they're like a lot of times just covered by my blind so i was like i'm just gonna display them over here they look way cuter it's the only reason i put them in here but as you can tell cebu blue is rooting uh, philodendron brazil is rooting they're pretty much all rooting and over here I have a lot of propagations from my begonias that I feel like are going to die. So let's just hope that they root. I see one of them is rooting right here. I think that's the U489, which is the silver leaf begonia that I have. Because yeah, she did. I'm glad at least that leaf is rooting over here. <laughs> I have this very disappointing shelf of begonias. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this for another time because I made a video about this. And I haven't uploaded it yet because I wanted to show you this video first. So I'll explain this later. Hey, Kiki! <laughs> okay, so I also wanted to show you guys that I got these humidifiers as well. The Elecombs humidifiers i don't know exactly what series this is <laughs> but yeah i got these in preparation for winter and just to overall give my plants a better experience growing in my home i guess so yeah let me show this to you kiki's interested so you press this little button and you turn it on she's biting my ring I think it's on sleep mode okay oh sleep mode oh it's disconnected <laughs> okay it tells you the humidity of the room and mine is at 49 I usually try to put it at like 65 and you can change that on this button or also you can touch the screen and change it from there but I like using this remote better because it's down here and I don't like bending down my knees are hurting what's going on oh I think it's off okay there you go 
And there it goes. Look at them. I feel like this is the duo that we keep seeing on the social medias. I have it pointing at my Monstera Delicioso over here. And another one is pointing at this sad, sad Raphidophora Tetrasperma who has done nothing but loose leaves all day. Oh, you like the humidifier, baby? <laughs> she always gets super curious when I turn it on. And she's just curious about my plants um, overall. And don't worry, you guys, I watch her like a hawk. She's a little baby. And I know that she can hurt herself getting into plants. And so I try to keep her out of everything as much as I can. Keiki! Keiki! Come here, baby! Oh! Ay, que bonita, mamas! Why are you so cute, my love? She's like in like a biting phase. She's not teething, I don't think. But she definitely likes to play bite. Um, because they just don't know. They're just playing. <laughs> oh, the cute, cute baby. <laughs> I love when she gives me her belly. It's the best. Yeah, the best belly in the whole wide world. Did you know? Did you even know? She loves cables. She loves biting plants. So yeah, we just try to keep a close eye on this baby as much as we can. That's why I haven't made like any content. No, Keiki, you see? <laughs> I haven't made a lot of content recently. She's going crazy, you guys, help. <laughs> what are you doing, Keiki? Keiki! Oh my god. <laughs> Keiki, sit. You're not gonna sit. Oh, you're sitting. You're so good, my baby. I don't have a snack for you right now, but I'll give you one later. Yeah, she's very independent, very cute, very hot. Good job, Kiki. Anyway, I'm so sorry. Back to the humidifiers. Let me show you kind of how they work. I uh, haven't had them long enough to really tell you that they've done a difference, but I mean, they look friggin' cool. They make me feel like I am in a rainforest, and I think that's good enough for me you can put the setting of the humidifier to be like super high which is the maximum amount of mist that it can throw or you can lower it that's the lowest you can see it went down a lot but you can still see the little mist and i i'm kind of try to put it like in the middle most of the time and you can put a timer on it, which is just how long you want this to run for. And I don't know, I don't really mess with that. I just kind of turn it off and on manually. And the humidity level, that tells you like what level you want it at. And I like 65. It's almost there. In case you're going to sleep, you can turn the screen off. Heating is for instead of the cool mist, you do the hot mist. And child lock, it even has that so that um, little babies can't mess with it. So that's cool. I don't know how that works because I don't have children, so that's not a problem here. I just have one little baby. There she is. Keiki! Oh, you look so cute with the monstera. There's a little monster in my house. <laughs> you want to put it to sleep? And then this button is for sleeping. Sleeping. <laughs> well, yeah, technically it is. Because when you turn it off, it turns off the noise that it makes when it beeps. And it also turns off the screen. So you press that and it does that thing. And then it just turns off and it makes no noise. So that's cool. But I don't want that because then I can't see what's going on. That's the Elecombe's humidifier. And if I see any changes in my plants, I'll definitely be letting you guys know. But yeah, I feel like I am complete with this houseplant duo. I feel like I'm that houseplant girl now. They make me feel cool about myself, okay? I really like them. I love them. I also got two of these Alec Holmes 
um, humidifiers. I just have one in this room and one in my bedroom in my north facing window. I've also heard that it does wonders for your skin if you turn it on while you're sleeping. So I like to turn mine on when I go to sleep and I haven't felt a difference per se but I've heard a lot of people it helps them with getting more supple skin. So if not for your plants, maybe you want to get it just to help your skin out a bit. Kiki? <laughs> oh, the baby. Oh, she's a baby. And so that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'll definitely be letting you guys know about any changes that I see, if any. But yeah, for now, I'm super impressed with the Millsbo greenhouse cabinet, at least on my cane begonias, which were being kind of fussy in the beginning. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Kiki says bye. Oh, Kiki, you want the scratchies? Oh, Kiki, you want the scratchies? You rock your car when you're asking about it.